Here we are. Hello, friends. Thanks for coming to join the Sable stream. We are just going to be doing some Sable flying and decompressing from yet another intense week. Come on in, come on in. I hope everybody's doing okay. Oh, wow. This game is blasting. Let's see, where is the happy place with the volume here? That seems okay. All right, well, here we are. Let me text my brother. <laughs> I forgot I was going to tell him I was going to stream tonight. Unless he's in the chat, I don't know. Brother, if you're here, make yourself known. Hope everyone's doing okay, though. I am fully ready to get lost in this game because, yikes, real life is rough. How do I spell streaming? If you can, that goes for all of you, too. Hi, Turbo Jerky. All right, so catching up with the world of Sable. You will see her modeling our very new mask, the Knight's Mask, or the Guard, I guess. Um. And I'm clearly missing guard bottom, so. Also, I think this might be the inaugural stream. Maybe? Maybe not, maybe this is the second one of um, my hardwired Xbox. And it could be my appreciation of life. Like maybe I'm just enamored with everything that's not work right now, but like this looks good. Look at these colors. Hey, Dramethius, welcome in. We are sabling it up today. So let's see where we are on the map. Oh yeah, I found all these things and I didn't do any of them, right? Yep. Well, at the very least, I bet we could get the cartographer balloon, get the map of this area. I think I was too broke last time. How broke am I today? Where am my money at? Where is money? Am I looking right at it? Let's see. It's like cuts or something. Badges. It's gotta be under general. Oh, look, I have 10 pieces of poo. Where's my money? Oh, it's in the corner. <laughs> that was like Animal Crossing. I just got like a big sack of money in here. All right, 80 cuts. That's not bad. Well, maybe let's try to get some more money. I'll tell you where I know for sure I haven't been. I haven't been to this area because when I came there last time, I had no stamina and I was a noob. I don't know why I can't teleport there though. That's annoying. Oh, I don't want to go to the ship though. Oh, let's go to the balloon. I think we're done here. Yeah. <laughs> Dramethius, cool Kirby emotes. Yes, my friend. You too could be the proud owner of a cool Kirby emote if you are a subscriber to this channel. Some of the, what should we go up there? That's some of the great rewards that you get. What? That's crazy. It's like, it's like I just said that and then you did it. That's amazing. Thank you for the sub, my friend. I don't even know if my alerts were working. I hope they were. 
Oh my god, he's gifting the sub. Holy cow. It's happening. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Ooh, whoa, what's down here? I don't actually remember this one. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Thanks for the subs. It's really awesome. Now you all have Kirby emotes. Spam them. <laughs> oh, there we are. Okay. So for those of you new to Sable, it's a lot like Breath of the Wild. Um, if you watch the VODs, 90% of the VOD is going to be me saying, wow, this part is like Breath of the Wild. Let me explain why. That would be like a huge supercut of that. Um, the main difference is that there's no enemies and there's no fall damage. There's no HP. It's just a really beautiful oof, exploration game. Um, I have a desert bike. Let me call her. Samoon. Show the nice people yourself. Samoon. Sometimes she gets a little glitchy when we teleport. But yeah, the cartographer's balloons are much like the watchtowers. Um, got a little bit of Animal Crossing bug collection happening here. Where is my bike? I swear I have a bike. Oh, hydrate. Whoops. Um, yet again, we have our non-sponsored LaCroix. <laughs> my life could be sponsored by LaCroix. No joke. Oh, there she is. Come over here, Simone. There we go. All right. Oh, yes. And the other mechanic of this game, just in case anyone's a new viewer for Sable, is everyone wears masks. Very timely, I know. Um, she's kind of exploring classes. Uh, so she's doing tasks that different types of jobs uh, or folks that do these jobs do. So we got the merchant's mask, scrapper mask, uh, cartographer's mask. I think I just found this, honestly. The whale ship, I just definitely pilfered that from somewhere. Um, and then this one is my secret alter ego, the shade. But yeah, eventually I will have to decide what my path in life is going to be. I mean, so far I'm, I'm really liking a life of crime, but I don't know if that's going to be an option. Have you he ever heard a clearly Canadian, Dramethius? I, is this, a, okay, this is either a setup for a joke or like an actual question. I'll give it to you as a joke. No, I've never heard a clearly Canadian. What's that? That's your setup. I'm waiting for the punchline. If you don't give me a punchline, I'll make one up for you. A clearly Canadian. Uh, it's a it's a forthright statement that's so friendly you won't know what to do. Is that good? That wasn't good. Don't clip that. Is it a drink? I went here before. Okay. I've definitely been in this area. Where is that geyser? Oh, that's far away. All right. Let's stop messing around over here. Some moon. I made a huge mistake. Thanks for the thumbs up, Turbo Jerk. Yeah, I appreciate it. Comedy's hard. Everyone's a critic.
There we go. That's what I needed my sights on. The geyser city. Although, now that I think about it, not to turn around three times, but... Oh, excuse me. The, um... I met a guy that was up in this plateau when I came here first. And nothing happened. I'm pretty sure... Maybe someone at Magpie Well told me about them, but it's possible that they will interact with me now that I'm cool and that I have the quest unlocked, so. Maybe we will go back there. I still haven't quite found a use for all of these butterflies and bugs and stuff. I can't even sell them. I have to trade them. It's a barter system. Here we go. Let's go ride us some geysers. to climb up first? Let's try that. 100% last time I was here, I had beginning of the game stamina and no clue that I could even raise my stamina. And so I'm sure I was just making people cringe of like <laughs> throwing myself at walls over and over again. Welcome, everyone. This stream is uh, not sponsored by any drinks in particular, but if we were, drink of choice is clearly Canadian. supposed to go this way I think yeah let's go up here cool Up we go. Maybe I should put on my climbing gear. How's everybody doing? Tell me about your week slash life. You can go big. It's my climbing gear. Ooh, those look bad together. It looks frumpy as hell. I like the shorts. I really vibe with the shorts. Dramethius, I showed my students a David Attenborough documentary. That's awesome. You're expanding their worldview. Which one? Then I got sad and left work early because of apocalypse. <laughs> yeah, that's the downside of that. Apocalyptic David Attenborough. I mean, that could really be any of them. Why is the camera doing this? Oh, it's cold here, though. I'm just gonna freeze in these shorts. Let, oops, let's go atomic. Let's go full priesthood. Do I have the priesthood top? See, this is the problem. I only have, like, pants and a mask in one set. 
Actually, I might only have the pants in that one. Let's just go in my spacesuit. There we go. There is no way we're getting to the top here, people. All right, let's find the way up. I don't even think I could have climbed this before, so let's let's try this way. Prometheus, it's called Life on Our Planet. It's kind of an autobiography. <laughs> and then First Reformed. Yeah, weirdly, that's where my mind went to. And if my brother ever showed up, he would have plenty to say about First Reformed. Shout out to my brother, who's not here, right? No? Okay, it's fine. It's fine. That's what brothers are for to be unreliable enough that when they show up, everyone forgets that they were unreliable and so happy they're there. Actually, my mom had a conversation with us recently, my brother and I, and she's like, you guys really loved your uncle when you were little. And I was like, yeah, because he showed up like just once in a blue moon and he was a novelty. He didn't tell us what to do. Oh, whoops. I thought that was a ledge. Ay, 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 grab it, grab it. Okay, it looks like there's a geyser here. Doesn't look like it's carrying me upwards very well, though. Oh, butts. Maybe if I stand on it. And just wait for it to jettison me upwards. Oh, it worked! I didn't think it would work. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was just, I, that was like a gesture. I did not think that that would work. Cool. So I could have done this before. <laughs> I could have done this before I got stamina. Oops. Interesting, interesting. Okay. There, that's what I want. Prometheus, have you seen Midnight Mask? Oh, Midnight Mass. I got masks on the mind. No, I may have had it semi-spoilered for me at work because my coworkers knew I hadn't seen it yet. And so my audio wasn't working uh, on a Zoom meeting. So they were talking about spoilers and then my audio started working again and I came for the end of all of the spoilers. And I was like, oh, I can hear you again. Please stop talking. <laughs> so I kind of don't remember what happened, but I bet you if I saw it, I would probably remember. Prometheus, I had no idea what it was about. Then I saw it and I wished I had known what it was about. Like in a scary way? Is it scary? I can't handle scary. I was the kid that couldn't even look at the scary movie covers at Blockbuster. And for those of you who don't know what Blockbuster is, it was as if the internet had a store to watch movies. That, that one goes out to Gen Z. What the hell? Where am I supposed to go? No, I love Gen Z. I really do. Oh, are we jumping in here again? Okay. Gen Z is way cooler than me. Prometheus Blockbuster, they sell popcorn, right? 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, they actually they did, didn't they? That's so funny. It's the place you go on Friday night to look at the video game covers. <laughs> Ooh, yes. What is this? What is it? I don't know. Is it a fish? A fish bird? What the hell am I looking at? Oh my god. No, don't go away. I love you. No, oh my god, please. Stay. Please. I'm so sorry. Oh, you are majestic. Are you gonna come back? Oh, I stole its babies. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, now we have a choice. We can go for the Korok seed type thing over here, the rainbow worm. We could go rescue this guy. Steal its eggs. Oh man, you took them all. Yeah, I only wanted one. Oh god, is it coming back? Where did it go? Okay, I don't want to displace it from its home, so. Let's go for the guy. Hello, sir. Oh, good. I need more climber badges. I want to get that mask. Jamethius, it can make more. I mean, what if it was the last of its kind? I really don't... I don't know the context. I am the colonizer here. I mean, look at me. I won't even breathe this air. Hello, Dilhan. Oh, you watching me, huh? Couldn't help but notice your climb up to the pink neck. Genuinely incredible, thank you. <laughs> the effusive praise makes me slightly nervous. Suppose that's a problem for another day. It's okay, Sable. Everybody has imposter syndrome. Oh, you want my eggs? Hmm. And I don't even get an option to not give him the eggs. This must have been a quest. Since I started carrying them, I've been quietly afraid that they would hatch and I would have to be both glider and mother. Ah, uh, sounds like my D&D &D character. Thank you. You'll make a fine climber one day. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. What was that called? Eye in the sky? Hmm. Trying to see if it's the one with the eggs, or was I supposed to find that kid? Oh, well. Wait, maybe it's not done. No, oh, it's not done. Wait, that's not what I did. I swear I said eye in the sky. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh, that's the one that's in the, um, the plains. Gotta go back for that person. Lore. Do I have enough for a, a mask? Let's see. Oh, I do. I can get a climbing badge, finally. Okay. That's cool. I believe I have some unfinished business, though. Namely, stamina gathering. Oh, 
Hey, welcome in. Just riding some geysers over here. So Dramethius, oh, I feel so bad. That bird is still displaced from its nest. I wonder if I could land on it. Gotta get ahead of it. Go, 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 go. Oh, I'm losing altitude. Dang it. Probably can't land on it. Okay, that dream is gone. Uh, Dramethius, are your students cool or are they lame? Do they appreciate David Attenborough? Do they appreciate all the wonderful things you do for them? Let's go over this way. I'm all about teacher appreciation. Teachers are the best. I was a teacher once. And then I wasn't. Because <laughs> it's hard. So I appreciate you more. I became an educator in different ways, but classroom teaching is rough. Dramethius, well, it was 60 degrees out today, so we were all cool. Fifth period was not about it, but first and second period, they were very into it. So fifth period sucks. That's what I got out of that. Fifth period sucks a lot. If fifth period's watching this, get your shit together. Who doesn't want to be informed by the dulcet tones of a British biologist? Like what, come on. There's supposed to be more bird eggs up here? Did somebody, did somebody else ransack this nest? Is this the same nest? Am I in the same place? Where the hell am I? No, couldn't be. Could it? I thought I went on the other side. Yeah, okay. Cool, crazy check, passed. What's over here then? Like, why are they tempting me to go over here? I'm just hanging out. Ooh, these are pretty cool ashy mounds. It's after lunch, they always suck. Oh yeah, food coma kids. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've done all we can do here. Why did they make such big towers that have nothing on them? It's too real. It's like getting to the top of a mountain in real life and you're like, well, I'm here now. I feel good about this. Period. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, I guess we can go tell that guy that he's wanted back in civilization. We could be the narc of the desert. Hey, man. Stop having fun. Yeah, did I miss anything? Oh, cool. Okay, that's the spa down there. I've been in there. I don't know. I thought there'd be a lot more going on up here, but I guess not. I guess I s 
stole the only fertile bird's eggs on this entire structure. Whoops. Where did I get up there before? Oh, cool. Cool. Oh my god, there's a ship in here? Are you kidding me? Oh, this must be like one of those little mini ships. Hopefully the music won't get stuck. I don't know. On my end, sometimes the music on these ships just loops forever. Oh yeah, cool, it's a little mini puzzle. Okay, that was <laughs> underwhelming. I'm sure there's something else to do here. Am I just gonna open up multiple exits to this thing? <gasps> money! Not money. Cool, I guess. Kinda need money right now. Guess it's fine. Okay. Ah, good, that's where I left my bike. Okay. Well, let's go ruin some free spirits life. What's this deal? Oh, no, not that. Bone marrow station, or sorry, marrow bone station told me to look for the sleeping singers. Okay, cool. Okay, so it's a storyteller. Let's go ruin this guy's day. That sound effect will always scare the hell out of me. This area is pretty cool. I'm sure there are some useful things in these uh, spaceships. But I don't really want to look at all of them. There's so many. And this game is not very kind to casual exploration. It's just like, oh yeah, world's big and boring. Climb that mountain, good for you. Went into that cave where it looked like there was gonna be something, there's nothing. Mm -hmm. But it's okay. In a way, it's honest. <laughs> Goes with my emo stream name. Is that a title of this? Why are humans so fragile? Yeah. Human bodies are very fragile, and I admire Sable's complete resilience to any kind of damage. Honestly, this game would be a good choice. I don't know if you've ever been asked the question of like, oh, if you had to, if you had to go to some kind of video game or movie or media, where would you go? And for the most part, you're stuck with a bunch of horrible options full of misogyny, racism, mortal peril. But like this, this game would be all right so far. 
course, you'd probably be stuck here for all of eternity because no one can die. But, you know. It's a choice. I don't know, what game would you guys pick if you had to be stuck somewhere? Trometheus, better than Dead by Daylight. Oh god, I can't even imagine that purgatory. What would you pick though, Trometheus? Greetings, Glider. The fabled lore. I get it, lore. Like L-O-R-E. Oh, so cute. Get to look up lore's skirt as it blows in the wind. Probably No Man's Sky. What is that game? I don't know that one. All right, let's bum this guy out. The priesthood wants you, dude. Oh, cool. Oh, it's a poem. <laughs> it's cute. Why? Interesting. <laughs> what do you do for them? Good rhymes. Nice. Nice. Oh, you're not a poet then. You're an evangelist. Mm hmm. Dramethius. Space exploration. Procedurally generated solar systems. Oh, that sounds cool. Huh. I wonder if I'd like that game. It sounds relaxing, though. Probably a good one to be stuck in. Though space is also kind of terrifying, so I don't know. Super relaxing. That's cool. Though if you were actually in it, <laughs> floating through space might not be relaxing, but who knows. Alright, so so far we found out that Laura is not really a poet. Laura is an evangelist for the church. Suspicious. I can help you. <laughs> God, Sable, you tell such truths. I tell her yes, but it's absolutely a secret maybe bordering on doubtful. That is, that is exactly how people talk, yes. <laughs> the atomic priesthood, however strange and severe, have given me a very comfortable life. I speak their truth, I spread their word, and... Well, frankly, I stop being so bloody boring all the time. Yeah, but at what cost, Lore? At what cost? Dang. You are a fucking tool. You're a propagandist, Lore. Sounds stifling, yeah. <laughs> Speak that truth, yes, Lore. I'm going to free you from your self-imposed verbal prison. All right, you get to live a charmed life, certainly more charmed than most. You make their living telling stories and singing songs. It's wonderful, really. Yeah, okay, okay. Poets like getting paychecks. I get it. No. No. It is that easy. Look around you. You're camping inside a statue with some candles. You're fine. Mm-hmm. 
All right, I will help you with your existential journey. That's what I'm here for. Oh boy, all right, chat, let's get ready here. Laura is a little four-faced. By the way, Dramethius, you left me hanging in with that joke earlier. He's waiting for the punchline. All right, chat. What is the value of art? Spreading truth or spreading joy? Oh, I thought you were setting me up with the Canadian clear joke. I, I, I didn't know if it was a question or a joke. So I, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? What is your thoughts on art? Let me know, chat. <laughs> truth or joy? No, no worries. You're right, it's all good. But let us answer lore here. Truth or joy for art? Truth? Any other thoughts, chat? See, I would think joy. I mean, if you've been to the art museum and seen those Renaissance painting of little cherubic naked babies hanging on sides of buildings, like that's pretty joyful. All right, last chance. Anybody wants to vote? Oh shit, I just dropped the tab in my LaCroix. Oh no, what an amateur mistake. All right. I'm gonna go with true, oh wait, oh, wait, did you change your mind? You're the only person voting. Chat, chat rules here. Which one do you want? Truth or joy? Picture, picture your last visit to the art museum. What were you feeling? <laughs> All right. If I had a coin, I'd flip it. I'm going to go with joy just because I need some joy in my life. <laughs> what did you see? Was it the pointillist painting? Oh no, I selected joy. Well, good thing we're not in the real world. This is a world of joyful art. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, cool, the Contemporary Art Museum. That's probably my favorite one. Mitchell hates it. You won't go there. <laughs> All right, next question. When you are faced with a challenge, how do you approach it? Do you value caution or safety? I'm not going to say is that I thought they were going, that they were, wait, what am I saying? Well, what I am definitely not going to say is that I thought they were much the same thing. Not really. Caution means you proceed forward carefully. Safety might mean that you don't do it at all. All right, what are we voting? Do you proceed cautiously or do you err on the side of safety? I'm waiting for chat. That's what Sable said. I think caution is you go ahead, but keep an eye out. Safety is you value your self-preservation to the point where you might not do it at all. Valjorian's all about caution. Love it. I feel like that's, that's resonating with me too. Because I'm not going to not do it. Caution is safety degraded. Yeah. Caution is, uh, as you're jumping out of the plane, you're like, at least I put my parachute on. <laughs> All right, we'll go with caution. All 
And you didn't even have to think. Perfect. We thought a lot, actually. Whoa. When I first left home and I was bound for this... Oh, it's a poem. Okay, we'll read it. It's fine. And I was bound for the sand. I knew not what I'd find as I walked through this great land. Actually, I hate this poem. Sorry, Laura. I don't like rhyming stanzas. But I'll tell you I do. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, I love this. Why do we explore? What drives us? Are we seeking our purpose? Or are we indulging in our freedom? I love this question. Oh, let me put the answers up here. Dances around my thoughts now and again, but not in so many words. I wonder, is it my purpose as a glider to see all places? Or is it my or is it to find my place? All right, what are we thinking here? This is one of those um, quasi-depressing questions. I have a thought, but I'll wait for a chat. Why do you guys travel? I mean, honestly, with the pandemic, this is pretty pertinent to me because travel was kind of second nature to me before and then I couldn't go anywhere for quite some time. I'm itching to go somewhere. <laughs> I really want to travel again. Veljorian, I'd vote for finding my place. Prometheus thinks it's freedom. It's hard because like the pandemic has shown us we we really do have a lot of freedoms to do whatever the fuck we want with a globalized society and technology and maybe because it's there we do it but I mean I started traveling more locally like going to the forest preserve became a a trip this past year or so, it was a place to find myself, and it wasn't far. <laughs> a lot of why can't I have both questions? <laughs> yeah. I think I'll go with purpose, but you can't do it unless you have the freedom to do it. We are. Oh, Lore, why do you have to rhyme everything? Okay. I don't know what I just told Lore to do. <laughs> I was thinking philosophically, but maybe I should have been thinking strategically. Like, how do I convince Lore not to be a religious propagandist? Oops. All right, are you going back to Akria or not? And she laughs. I'll find out tomorrow. Cool. I don't have that many of those. A glider named Sable, the fabulous lore, shared something today in the sands. I put her I put faith in her judgment, I'll trust in her brain, and fate in her capable hands. All right, I'll do a good little limerick. <laughs> cool. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Did she go back? God damn it. Ah, oh, lore. I wonder if there's an outcome that I could have convinced her to stay. No. Ugh, oh, fine. It's her life. I, I answered honestly, and if that's what she got out of it, that's not my problem. It's like the meme of Kermit drinking the tea. That's none of my business. Lore, stressing me out. I 
All right, we hydrating, we hydrating. Cheers, cheers to you. All right, well, I can't drink the LaCroix because I dropped my tab in, in it like a grade school child, so. <laughs> Back to regular water over here. Yay, cheers. What are you guys drinking tonight? What's the sable bevy of choice? Okay, so... So weird that we can't teleport here. I don't know why. Guess we can... No, it doesn't give it a name. Weird. We still don't have money. I don't even know how much money we need. If I was money, where would I be? Huh. Did I go over here? I don't think I did. This was very deserty, though. Okay, maybe we'll go here. Do a little desert run. And I guess check out this ship. I don't think I did this ship yet. I don't think. Oh, I was trying to ramp up on it. I do remember that. Okay. Apparently something is here. Oh, the oasis. Yeah. I don't have enough stamina for that. Or we could do something that viewers love. Obviously, you guys are just waiting for me to go back to Akria and try to find one small child in this giant city. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. That could be... <laughs> I haven't played this game off stream at all. But honestly, like, finding that child might be some downtime activity because, like, oh, it's terrible. All right, let's check on the bevies here. Got some water. Wish I had a clearly Canadian. <laughs> had a Coke. Yes, yes. These are good. You know, really, anything's a good beverage in the desert. All right, I don't have the brain for this puzzle. Potentially ever, I really need to think on that. Let's do a quick desert run. Oops, oops, no, no. Which way do I need to go? This way, I believe. Gosh darn it. Okay. So one might argue that trying to find money in a barren wasteland is not a good idea. But to that I say, yo, you're probably right. I just re like, okay. One day, maybe I'll stream Breath of the Wild. I don't know. It's kind of a very personal game to me. I've logged like hundreds of hours on it. And I played it with absolutely no spoilers. Um, love that game. I have Heroes Mode on because Mitchell beat it before me so I can see my path on the map. I have crawled over every single part of that map. And I feel, and I, yeah, always going to like the worst possible area first and then skipping the main quest. Um, accidentally, but... Yeah, I feel like this game does not reward such behavior at all. Like, there's literally just a bunch of rocks over here. If this was Zelda, there'd be some, like, guy in the corner, and he's like, help me. Help me collect my watermelons or whatever. This game doesn't play around, though. It's like, nope, you're in a fucking desert. 
This is what's in a desert. Thanks, Valjorian. I colored this to match the sand. I think I actually found some new paint. So if we find a uh, machinist, we can, or a machinist, jury's still out on that pronunciation. Uh, we could paint the bike. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think we're gonna find anything cool over here, guys. There's a skeleton. Oh, but we're kind of getting back into the ship area. Okay. Well, now we know. Oops, whoops, 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 whoops. Let's do it. Let's do a puzzle. I think the puzzle is drawing us back towards it. Kind of. Oops. I really hope though, so somewhere on my YouTube channel, there's Rowley's Way, whatever video says Rowley's Way. It is an hour long video. Well, the end, okay, let me clarify. The last hour of that video is just an hour of sadness because I did one of the ship puzzles and it was glitching out on me. Where the hell is this ship? Uh, so I couldn't do it correctly. It was literally just like clipping me through the wall. And I've heard that there's another puzzle that uses the same elements, only like worse. So if we see that, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna run and cry. Cause I don't know if I can do that again. It was rough. All right, here we go. So far, so good. So unlike everything else in this game, I cannot climb the spaceship surface. Some alien technology. So, it's all about, whoops, apparently falling off. Um, it's all about puzzles in here to get around. Bad time to take a drink. Ah! Look at that. Cheers to you guys. All right. 71, not bad. Thanks. All right. Onward. Okay, so if we see it, it's the puzzle or the uh, the mechanism that glitches out on me, it's like a big lever that pushes out of the wall and you're supposed to put the batteries on it and like it'll push them forward. Ugh, and it's full of terrible, terrible glitches. So if I see that, I'm turning the hell around. Oh boy. Let's see what all this does. So it looks like it's gonna turn these guys on. What do these do? Let's find out. Did I open a door? Oh, there we go. Okay, that thing go up there. Sure. I'm into that. Oh god. Okay. Oh good, there's stairs. <laughs> good, good, good. And more stairs. Great. Excellent. Why is there a wall here? 
Interesting. So I can also sell scrap metal. It's really the only thing I can sell directly. And it's pretty lucrative. Made a lot of money on it, and then I promptly bought a lot of clothes. Hashtag. It's my life. Um, <laughs> let's wear something new. Let's show off that investment. Oops. Wait, where are my cool pants? Do I not have them? Hmm. Why don't I have any full clothing sets? This is annoying. What have I been wearing with these? I guess my priesthood trousers. Huh. Not a fan of the priesthood, but the pants look good. I guess I only have the shirt. Holy moly. Okay. Well, we're going to get a lot of scrap in here, so I'll wear my scrapper mask. All right, let's try that again. It was not glamorous. How far over do you come? You know what? I probably have to start this windmill thing first. But if I only have one battery... I must have to freeze it. That looks good. All right, let's see if I can jump up there. Whoa. Ah, oh, man, if only there was like a little box or something. Whoa, can I climb on this wall? What? Why? That doesn't seem right. But sure, I'll take it. Um, okay. Let's try that again. Weird. I don't know if that's how I'm supposed to get up, but I'm going to try one more time. Maybe I could tilt it lower. It's got to be it. I don't know why I can climb on that wall. That's really weird. Okay. Wish this wasn't so far away. Here we go. I don't know why I can climb on this wall. It's bananas. It never lets me climb on this stuff. Okay, well, if I can climb on the wall... Gosh darn it. I don't need it to be tilted. Okay. Weird. Maybe this is just regular concrete instead of space stuff. Aha, a shortcut. Wow, that waits a long time. Okay. Amazing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Uh huh. Yep. Nobody saw that, right? Fuck that up. Okay. Let's try that again. God damn it, Sable. I hate that. Sometimes when she's in her bubble, I let go and she just keeps on bubbling and she doesn't grab it. 
And I know what you're thinking. It's got to be user error. It probably is. But there's at least a hint. A hint of glitch. A small flavor of glitch. All right, let's study this thing. I don't think it's going to go far enough, but it, let's try it. Do I have to go on top, maybe? Yes. Cool. There's my money. Now, what can we do with this height? Hmm. I don't know. There's stairs everywhere, except for this top layer here. But I bet it has to do with that little spinny guy, so... Let's try it out. Okay, that seems far removed from what I care about. Hopefully that's helpful. Oh, cool. Okay, wait, it's just right there. Yeah, that's totally going to be fine. Let's see. Ha-ha! <laughs> that was not right. Ah, Sable! Sable! Physics, physics. Ah! Excellent. All right. I can't climb on this stuff after I just said I couldn't. Ah, maybe this is... I don't know. I have no explanations. All I know is that I could not climb <laughs> in the other spaceships. Oh, cool. Okay, how do we work this out? Is there an angle that could get me up here? That's interesting. What am I missing there? I feel like if I stop this one to angle this bad boy to face here, up there, I won't be able to get up here. Let's try it. Wish I had another battery. I mean, I guess I could angle that one better. All right, let's try that. Let's try these shenanigans. Turbo jerky, I just took a shower and it felt so good. <laughs> Sorry if that's too racy for stream. No, we appreciate cleanliness on this stream. Ah! And it's winter. Hot water does feel good. Hot water is my favorite thing. Indoor plumbing. It's great. If this stream could be brought to you by indoor plumbing, I would, I would sign me up. Love it. I don't know actually what that sponsor would look like. As if there's like one company that uh, handles that. <laughs> Why did I get a double ping on the Xbox? That was weird. Huh. All right, so for those of you who are new to Sable, the so basically we live in a desert world. I know it's hard to believe. Um, 
we're in a spaceship. I've been collecting transmissions from this entity called Saren. And I have reason to believe some terrible shit happened to the people that flew this spaceship. There's a lot of them, actually. They're, the fleet has kind of crashed all over the place. Let's see. You know what? They're going to let me revisit Saren's uh, recordings. So let me grab some scrap. And then we can just do a little recap. I find them very spooky. All right, let's check out the archive just for continuity. I don't know if we'll listen to all of them, but we can do three and four. Basically, they were crashing. There's a lot of scary music happening. Oh man, this is the song that gets stuck though. So you get, if you guys hear this like low harp music in the background that just goes twang, twang, that is the music that's gonna get stuck for the rest of the game to like quit and restart. Ooh, sorry. Um, but yes, let's get in spooky mode. So we purge our engines. We've got nothing for the terraformers. We need to land now. Deacon's a, a bitch. Um, Singh says, look, every day the radiation's getting worse. I can't keep selling this BS to the crew. And I'm not landing on that planet either. We're not landing anywhere until we know about these atmospheric anomalies. There may be life signs on the surface, but that doesn't mean they're hospitable. But we do need this stuff off the ship, Deacon. Mission be damned. So here's where I'm trying to piece together the lore. It says that planet is the whole reason we're here. If we don't get those terraformers up and functional, then we came out here for nothing. So I'm still trying to piece together is Sable and her people, are they the descendants of these terraformers that kind of made it happen? Or are they the entities on the planet that these folks crash landed on? Okay, so, and then there's a disturbance. Uh, Deacon's still a bitch. Okay, so then let's see what happened with Deacon. Was that three? Let's look at four. Catastrophic failure in reactors one through five. Auxiliary power is still on, but navigation systems are failing. Captain, we are going down. So there's something that's creating interference from this planet. And it's responding to this fleet or this ship's presence. Okay, so let's see what's going on now. Because I want the lore. Here we go. Message number five. Me too, girl, me too. All right, at long range community. At long range, communications are still being disrupted by the perpetual. By the perpet. That's what gives me my gliding powers. Something called the perpetual. So that must be native to this world. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to shielding the reactors from its interference. Permission? Granted, Saren. I want you to stick out. Bleh, I can read. I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can't squeeze something out without it being bounced back. I'm five years old. Okay. Yes, Captain. Well, we might as well get the terraformers up and running then. Right. Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers. He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running with your mouth, we'd still be in orbit and negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planet. We can't even breathe the air out there. And is that why we all have masks? Because they can't breathe this air? I mean, these masks aren't like that good, right? All the more reason to start terraforming now. What is your point, Captain? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. Their rad shield is beyond repair now. If we run these things, they will pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years. Yeah, man, these ships are full of radiation. I keep finding them. Ugh. Is this a poisoned planet? Is that why there's a desert? Ooh. Yeah, they all have N95 masks under their masks. 
Then maybe we don't do it for us. The recording goes silent. Deacon? Why does Deacon say no unread messages? What? Is that a is that a misnomer? Okay. Okay, girl. See, now it says Saren again. I think that was just a glitch. Or was it? Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oop. Almost left this scrap behind. Whew. All right, the lore is building. I don't know. I mean, it could be that they just poisoned the atmosphere here and these were indigenous folks and now they have to wear masks. I wish there was an easy way to just port out of here without going back through all the rooms, but I guess it gives you a chance to pick up stuff you missed. Oop, like that. Ha ha. Almost left you, Scrap. Cool. Okay, now hopefully this music changes like it's supposed to. Gosh darn it. Here, let me turn it up so you guys can hear what I'm talking about. You see how it's still spooky? Oh, man. All right. I'll deal with that for a little bit. I don't feel like restarting. I don't like that spooky glitch. Hey, girl. I had that glitch going for me the entire time I was in Akria. Just makes everything spooky. It's like now we got our nighttime desert song. I can barely hear it. Okay, where to next? We're good on time. We're making good time on this mission to do whatever. <laughs> uh, do you guys think I have enough money? Let's try the balloon guy. Let's fill in this map. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I couldn't get the map because I was broke as a joke. I can't believe that music stays through a teleport. Hey friend. I will take this map. Take all my money. Thank you, sir. Cool. Well, here's where we were like, Hey, is there anything over here? No. Oh, have I gone up here? Yes, that's the forest. But wait, what is this? I have not been there. Oh my gosh, I'm actually pretty excited about that. How do I mark it? Blink. Oh, that's got to be the oasis, huh? Cool. Oh, cool. I can teleport here. That's neat. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's see what's up there. That looks very promising. Oops. Behind the forest, you say. Maybe that's what the statues were pointing to. Okay. 
forest gets a little spooky. Maybe the spooky music will be fine in here, actually. Where's the moon? The forest is kind of big. Is she on the other side? Oh, hey. Hey there. I'll take it. Cheers to the glowworm. I hear her. There you are. There you, there you are. Ha ha ha. All right. Let's find whatever there is to find. Oof, oof. Hard to stay on course in here. Whoa, whoa. Whoa! Cool. All right. Finding a lot of bike dye. Maybe I should try that out. Paint my bike a different color. <laughs> All drawing cool. It is cool. This game still surprises me. hear that chime? I hear kind of like a big wind chime. Hmm. Maybe it will have something to do with the area up there. But if we don't find it, we can always kind of hunt it down later. We are dead center. I think that's where we're going. Well, it is now. Oh, cool. We get to watch the sunrise. Look at this spooky forest. What time is it? It's... Oh, I guess I'm blocking it on stream. What? It's six o'clock. <laughs> I realized that when I was reviewing the stream from a couple weeks ago that I blocked the little timestamp. Hello and good morning. Just another day in the spooky woods. Okay. Is it back here? I'm so twisted around. Okay, yeah. Cool, we're still on target. Let's trust the process. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What is this? What is this? Bones? And when your computer makes noises at you that it's not supposed to be making, we'll worry about that another day. What the hell? What? Oh, it's getting funky over here. Let's 
go check out these gross eyeballs. Ooh. Whoops. Ah! Okay, they're not eyeballs. <laughs> Good. I was kind of scared they would swivel at me. Oh, there's seed pods. Okay. I can catch beetles with these. I don't see any beetles. I can carry this around, I guess, just in case. This is one of the only things I can interact with in the game, like pick it up. Everything else I just pocket. Are there beetles down here? Oh, there's one. Oh yeah. It's a tiny one. See if we can attract its attention. Where's it going? Hey, beetle. The trick is you can't let them see you. Let's bait it. Where'd it go? Did it see me? It's just gone. Okay. Ah, there you are, you bastard. Oh, it plays dead. Oh. Huh. Okay. I mean, that was pretty much an accident. I thought it was going to try to eat this seed. Man, they don't... They're just cruising. So am I supposed to let it see me? Hey, buddy. Can I run? No, I can't even run. Hey, buddy. Come back. I run so slow. <laughs> eat it. Yes. You can't see me. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it was a complete accident that I got that one. Great. Good. Good. That's what I like. <laughs> when I fail forward. see what it does. It just keeps on going, huh? You ate my seed. Jerk. Maybe I could get the drop on him. <laughs> ah, I gotcha! Ugh. Okay, fine. I need food. <laughs> Fine. So these look like beetle mounds. Cool. Okay. Is this just one big beetle playground? Does somebody want beetles? Everybody likes these beetles. Let's see. Three. Ugh. Tall order. I'm glad I got one for free. Valjorian, have you seen this game before? Or is this your first time seeing Sable? Oops. Okay. Let's see if we can get up. Ah, yes, the spaceships I can't climb. How I've missed you. Hmm. 
Oh, there's cool stuff up there, too. Let's use this red thing. Hey, thanks for the gift sub, Dramethius. You are crushing these gift subs. Thank you so much. I still don't know if my alerts are working. <laughs> Note to self, people are awesome. Fix your alerts. But thank you, that's awesome. Veljoran, I hope you enjoy the sub. You have Kirby emotes now. Feel free to use them voraciously. Yes, voracious Kirby's. Hooray! Last week, but I've never seen it before. Hey, Mick Jack, welcome in. What the heck? Yeah, the concept is really cool. I love that you can just explore and explore. Why is this here? Do I need to go up? What the heck? All of this stuff is bothering me. Is this an air vent? Is there just something on fire below me? Okay. That's, that's totally normal. That's fine. Oh, thank you, Mick Jack, for the, the compliment on the Monster of the Week stream. I really appreciate that. We're having a really good time playing it. Um, it's a fun system. It's very collaborative, very narrative. And in a way, the system itself is railroady. Like the point of the game is to find the monster and kill it. And there's some freedom to that very basic premise that allows the players to go off the rails a little bit. So yeah, we're having a good time with it. We're not, we're not on this Sunday, but we will be on next Sunday with that game. So I hope you can come back and uh, ch check out the hijinks. Because I honest, this player group, I have no idea what they're gonna do. Like I'm trying to prepare for multiple contingencies and I just, I just don't know, in a good way, but. Hmm. Why, why, what does this do? Oh, there's a battery around here somewhere. Interesting. Oh, look at that. Oh man, we're going vertical people. This whole, um, I don't think I'd be a very good astronaut. I'm not very good at changing my perspective of what is up and down. Oh gosh. Even though I did play that game, what is it called? Super Liminal, which is all about perspective and messing with it. And that was fun. Wah! <laughs> uh, but there was a lot of that happening. Cool, cool. Yeah, Mick, I think I caught you guys playing D and D on was it last Friday? Whatever. Um, that's. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make a noise for throwing this. <laughs> great, great. Um, is that gonna work? But yeah, I'm interested in your campaign. I came in kind of cold, so obviously there was a lot of character established already. Um, 
but I love dream sequences and I love flashbacks in D&D. I thought your DM did a really nice job with that. Actually, one of you might be the DM. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, it was really awesome. And like your all your characters' reactions were so natural and there was some great camaraderie too. I really enjoyed it. What the heck? What was the point of that? Just got some stuff, that's it? Just one little thing? Let's just kick it. Yeah. Harsh. Fine. That was a lot of work for that. How much was that? Woo. That wasn't even money. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I got something. I was too busy thinking about D&D. Hashtag my life. Hmm. Should we get some beetles? I feel like that's all there is to do here is beetles. It's a pretty big area though. So there's a beetle thing here. Do we go over here yet? All right. My Xbox just showed up as a widget on my computer for an achievement I got like 15 minutes ago. Go figure. It's still very proud of me though. So the beetles don't come out here. I don't know, man. I can't climb up with these things. And they're just kind of roaming around. Should I put it by their house? Oh, maybe I can snipe them. I'll just put it by their house. Super casual. Don't worry about it. Don't you mind me. Just here in your house. Ugh. Hide. <laughs> They're not even here. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Oh, God. Get down. Get down. Get down. Sable, hide. Yes. Eat the seed. God, what? Oh. How did you see me before you saw the seed? Line of sight. Rude. Do they not even like these? Mm. Also, I think I have to chill my bot out a little bit. My bot's very friendly today. It's like they go away from me. Go get it, buddy. Ah! Run away. Okay, these things have x ray vision. Yes, enjoy it. It'll be the last thing you ever see. No. Oh. They just eat my seeds and then they go away. <laughs> what do I do? Is there a seed thing up here? Maybe I'm just too slow. Oh, just a good vantage point. Either these things have holes in them because it's showing me that they dig in the dirt or they're strategic in some way. But here's the thing. Can I knock into it without going down there? 
Duke. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Go back, go back, go back. Did I scare it already? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. now I did. Okay, well, well. We all learned a lesson here. Uh, can someone tell me what the lesson was? No. These beetle quests suck. I, <laughs> this is going to sound weird. I only liked one of the beetle quests. It was where I accidentally discovered that you had to jump on the backs of the beetles and make them <laughs> squeeze poop out. <laughs> it was very disturbing and yet strangely satisfying. This one... And like, look how many I got. This is what I call an accomplishment right here. Where'd it go? Let me show you my beetle poop. And for those who are counting, this is the second time you've seen it on stream today. <sighs> One orange beetle, though. What's going on over here? This is weird, right? This little one? Like, come on, why is this here? Oh, I see one. It's so far away. Oh, boy. Okay, well, if I had the ability to speed up gameplay and self-edit this stream, we would be playing Benny Hill music right now. <laughs> Just kind of fast forwarding the endless beetle baiting that's going on. Go get it! To the tune of Benny Hill. Like, nothing, it's not gonna come over here. Uh oh, beetle. You're so far away. You're only gonna see me. Dude, what the heck? Uh, should I give up? <laughs> That's my video gamer uh, motto. Should I give up? Question mark. Try yelling at it very loudly. I don't even know how to yell. All I can do is call Samoon. Can I hold these things while riding Samoon? She's far away though. I left her on the other side of this forest. I don't think that would work though. I think that's just something I want to happen. Beetles! And like, they're not even in their house! What's a girl to do? Forget this. Carrying this one seed around? Embarrassing. I don't know, man. If I don't see any free-range beetles soon, I think I might call it. Do they only come out, like, in the day? Oh, maybe that's it. I haven't been paying attention at all to the time. Maybe they like to go back to their house in the daytime. It's three in the morning, though, so we're not, <laughs> we're not gonna find out for a while. We can set the trap. Okay, maybe this is what I have to do too. I'll just butt bump them. Okay, I'm learning, I'm learning. Let's 
Let's set the trap here. For Operation Daytime Beetle. Perfect. Couldn't have planted any better myself. Didn't I knock two seeds down? Where's the other one? The trap is laid. What's over here? Something on that rock? Huh. Maybe I was already up there. Oh yeah, I think that's where the whole fun spaceship side quest started. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did I miss my trap? We're setting two traps, it's fine. Trap number two. <gasps> oh god, what do I do? Eat this! Don't look at me! Don't look at me. Oh, get him, get him. No, no, just kidding. Oh, what do I, oh. Okay, yeah, no, 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 come back, come back. Yeah. No, just kidding, just kidding. Do they sense vibrations? Oh my God. This is intense. Come on, dude, eat the seed. It's fine. Everything's fine now. What? Do you see it track me? Come on. How could it see me up here? It's a beetle. What? What is happening? I need eyes on it. Is it taunting me? What is happening? <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm just dive bombing this bitch. That's right. Okay. Maybe it'll come back. Ooh. No. No, I blew it. But okay. I do think they can sense vibrations, because that thing kept stopping and looking at me like, what the hell, woman? But they can also see me, so I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, like right now. These are very smart little bugs. Is it because I'm standing on top of its house? Is that the giveaway? All right, don't worry about yourself. Here's what I'm gonna do. This one keeps respawning, so we're just gonna play with this guy. No, 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 you didn't see me. Oh, it, it gave up the gut gave up the ghost. Here we go. Here we go. I Honestly don't know why this is happening. If someone understands the beetle mechanics, you just go right ahead. Let me know. Steve Irwin that shit for me, please. <laughs> yes, I am just Right now I'm like, do you want this food? No? Do I just have to like fake it out three times and then it just gives up its life because it's, it's just done? Because that's very sad. All right, let's try the same strategy. It's pretty far away. The strategy is Tempt it with something it wants, intimidate it so that it knows it can never have it. Do it three times and it'll realize that life is futile and it will die. Just, just like real life. Where are you guys going? Oh, there you are. Check it out, little guy. not or you could disappear it's fine okay i really feel like my my beetle hunting game is it should be on point but it 
Maybe it's not. Yeah, and they respawn in the same area too. It's just looking right through this thing at me. Like, it can't even see me right now. Okay, okay. How about this? I'm gonna put this here. Yeah, go get it. Go get it, little guy. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I don't understand you. Oh no, I've thrown it where I can't pick it up. This is a problem. My special seed. <laughs> oh, there we go. This is, this is fine. The way I picture Sable right now is the dog drinking the coffee with the, with the fire behind him. This is fine meme, except she's holding a seed surrounded by these little beetles. Aha! What do you want from me? This is fine. Ah, here I am. Can you give up on life yet? The others have. We're the only one left. I really don't understand. Someone probably told me about how to do this. Let's see. Nope, they sure didn't. I thought I heard my bike. I did call it like three times earlier. Maybe she made her way over here. You son of a bitch. What if I put it by its house? Oh, maybe it just needs to know the way home. Here you go, little one. Yeah. Find the seed. Are you kidding me? I didn't do anything. I just stood here. What on earth? Chat, help me. <laughs> this beetle hates me. I'm gonna try to jump down on it again. Let's go for the... We'll do the Tom Cruise Mission Impossible right on top of this guy. See if I can get up there before it eats the seed. Oh my god, Sable climbed. Climb, time sensitive. Let's go. Oh no, oh, I think it ate it. Yep, yeah, just, just ate the seed. It's cool. Gosh darn, dude. We just need one more at this point. I'm determined. If this is the hill that I die on, you no, know, I need that beetle badge. Look, they, they see me. They see me up here. What is the deal with these beetles? <gasps> look, 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 they're seeds. Okay, okay. Wait, wait. You all saw that that seed disappeared, right? Okay. That's fine. We didn't need that one. That was just a... But a moment of encouragement. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. There's one. Now, now it's happening. It's on. It dropped though? Oh. I didn't know that. Oh man, I bet a beetle ate it. 
Go forth. Don't look at me. Okay. I know this is gonna sound weird. I have two Shih Tzu mixes for dogs. And, you know, a lot of dogs are just like dopey and loving. And my dogs will just stare at you like this beetle is staring at me right now. I'm not even kidding. It just, it resonates me, with me on a lot of levels. Eat it. <laughs> Go fetch. Sit down. Stop barking. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, it, no. Oh, it was so close. Why? Why? Oh, just pick it up. I don't understand. I don't understand, but we're done. Okay. I hate this place. <laughs> wow. Thanks, guys, for sticking in there with me on that one. I sure hope I get something really cool from Ofu. I do hear Samoon. She is here somewhere. She has such a good ship. Let's go find her. She's probably stuck over here, I guess. I don't know if she can climb up here. There she is. Gosh, she's the best. She drove through that whole... Oh, no, I did bring her. <laughs> I thought I left her at the front. I just left her over here. You're still good, though. You're very loyal. Just didn't get your steps in, that's all. What is this? Excellent. I bet you there's something up there, too. Can I climb this? Nope. What about this? Nope. Maybe there's not something up there. Let's see if we can see. Hmm. It's not for us to decide. Unless there's some easy thing to climb. Oh, there's a tree. Let's see if we can launch over there. If it's a rainbow worm, that's worth it. Actually, I wonder if we can turn those in for stamina. Where are they? Probably not. I think she wants 20. And I also don't know if the stamina can go any higher than what I have now. Ninety-nine. What what ninety-nine? Ninety-nine what? Oh, I think I missed the reference. 99 beetles? Don't even don't even joke about that. That's I refuse to even consider that thought. It's three beetles. Three and exclusively three. Ah, uh, just money. Okay. It's fine. pretty just okay let's make sure we hit all the big things over here I mean I don't think I climbed a particularly tall white hill did I maybe I did could just be like the end of the map Hmm. 
let's scout over there. Let's just make sure there's nothing cool. I'm not even going to look at the beetles. I hate them so much. Interesting. Did I get back there? I feel like this was the really low beetle mound. Could just be landscape. Yeah. Looks like a big old chalk mound. Whoa. Okay, well, I'm satisfied. Pretty good view. I feel like there are some things I'm missing in here, but that there's so much repetition and boringness that like, I don't know if it's worth it. So the one thing that's interesting is I did find some statues of ladies and they were pointing forward and someone told me follow them. But knowing this game, they could be like the gods of orange beetles and they're just pointing me over here. Or to that treasure chest that we already found. So I don't know about exploring the woods again. We can certainly cut through it on our way back. Just kind of see what we can see on the way out. Eh, so spooky. Is there a worm up here? Quick glowworm check. See, my bot is just super friendly. GG, thank you. Appreciate that. Ooh. Can't say that I learned what was happening there, but much like in real life, I persisted. Ah, oh, bummer. I thought I saw a little glowworm up here. That was wishful thinking. Wouldn't it be crazy if there were timed things in these woods? I don't think the game is into that, but... If things came out at night versus the day. I mean, I guess the glowing um, bugs that I had to find did that. But that's really been the only thing that I've seen that's timed. Moon, I'm so glad you don't have an HP bar. I'd be at the repair shop all the time. It's almost underwater feeling in here. Ooh, this looks like an important tree. Let's go check that out, just in case. See if we're rewarded for our curiosity. I mean, this is just a big old beast of a tree. I'm gonna go with there's jack shit up there, <laughs> but <laughs> okay. There's a lot of big scary trees here, I guess. All right, well, cool. This place is spooky. I guess let's just, you know, close the loop on Beetle Lady. We worked pretty hard. Let's get out of the spooky forest and...
cash in our hard-earned beetles. Hey kids. Who wants the <laughs> question? Who wants the beetles? Oh, I think it's a guy wearing a beetle mask. Spoiler alert. Yeah, this is our this is our dude. Ofu, what's up, my friend? Great. She claps a little. <laughs> That's what all of this was for. And the badge. Great, great, great. Oof. How are we doing on those? So I need one more entertainers. One more beetle. Oh, and the machinist too. And are there people I haven't even met yet? Or are these just fake spaces? Let's see, it doesn't have that on everything, does it? No, okay. Wow, I mean, that's... That's a significant amount of badges. I haven't even met that many people. Okay. I know, I know, I was just there. Um, well. Oh, you know what? We can get our climber's mask. Can have the weird mask creature bestow upon us the climber. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Let's do that. Oh, and you know what else? We can check out our bike colors. We've been finding a lot of paint lately. Let's see if we can, uh, Amp up our ride. Excuse me. Hello. Uh, are you the person that fixes my bike? Okay, this is gonna sound bad, but sometimes the people glitch out and I have to throw something at them. That's That has worked for me in the past. So sorry, guy. What? I can't pick up the bucket. What is going on? What can I throw at him? I think that's the NPC. Let's find a bucket. This is what it's come to. Hey, you. Oh, I thought I was supposed to help you. Apparently not. <laughs> I only care about some people's problems. Man, they don't have a single projectile. Get out of my way then, little guy. Guys, I can't get my bike fixed. <laughs> my machinist is in a stupor and there's no bucket in this town to throw at him. What am I supposed to do? I guess I could warp back in here. When in doubt, save the game. How do I do that? Whew. God knows I do not want to get those beetles again. That would be off stream for sure if I had to do that again. It would just be me crying openly. Okay, let's warp. Oh, whoop. Hang on. Glowworm sighting. 
This is serious now. What's the strategy? Straight climb, a jump. We could try a straight climb. Okay, okay. No, this is a bucket list town. Can't believe it. Let's see if this guy wants to talk to me yet. Hey, buddy. God damn it. Oh my god, you see this? This bucket had a little um, icon on it, and it doesn't even let me pick it up. Why is everything haunted? All right, let's see if we can wake this guy up. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. Oh. You know, it's been a long pandemic, but if I start letting video games dictate my social mores, I'm gonna be thrown throwing things at people to initiate conversation. Hello. Have I taken a reading yet? Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's a really difficult puzzle. Just customize my bike. Oops. Wait, wait, wait. Go back. Okay, yeah, let's pick colors. So I think these are the ones that I've been finding. Actually, let's do the back so I can see. So I have this like sandy one on now, I think. Unless, actually it kind of looks like, oh, maybe it defaults it back. Gotcha. This red looks kind of nice. Ooh, let's try this. Should we go obnoxious? I wish there was more turquoise. I feel like the gray part could be bright, bright turquoise, huh? Dude, do I have to throw another bucket at you? Don't even make me. What kind of service does this place have? <laughs> oh God, it never gets old. I need to find more bikes, that's what I need. Actually, let's go sell some scrap metal. To get some cool bike parts. I don't like the pastel. Maybe let's go like sleek, monochromatic. Oops. Eh, it's boring. Honestly, I'm really digging the sandy one. Like the, the little brown tones here. I just like it. I wish I could change the glow color too. It'd be cool. Go back and tell the Beatles you're their new queen. <laughs> I have returned. They will call me out in an instant. <laughs> you do not understand our ways. Uh, let's see. Ugh, some of these quests. Okay, maybe I could go tell that person about lore. I don't know really what's in it for me. Climbing mask, yep. 
Okay. Let's get a new mask. I hope we have at least some viewers who haven't seen a mask ceremony yet. Um, it's just the right kind of existential dread and terror that really makes this game what it is. Hello? Don't tell me I have to throw something at you too, buddy. Oh, no. The mask guy is glitching out? That's pretty bad. I wonder if this area has a lot of um, NPC glitches. Let's go throw a bucket at him. Oh, now you want to talk? This bucket's not for you. <laughs> Gosh. Just trying to get my mask, I earned it. Can't believe I have to throw a bucket at an ethereal being that grants me magical powers and has potentially a micro universe inside of its face. And it won't talk to me. Here we go. I'm here. Come on. <laughs> what? There we go. <laughs> Why? What? Does anyone else have this glitch? Anyone who plays Sable? Why do I have to throw buckets at people I want to talk to? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> right next to the bucket. Oh no. It is the way. Like, see, all powerful being. When in Rome, throw the bucket or stick your hand inside a guy's face inside a tent. <laughs> Which one? Ah, oh, Sable, I'm so sorry you have to go through this. <laughs> it seems traumatic. All right. Oh, we gotta put it on. Hooray! What looks good with the climber's mask? This is my favorite outfit, this one right here. Love that outfit. Oh, that looks really good, actually. The climbing top. Yeah, it's all coming in together. So I think... In retrospect, I wish I didn't buy these ugly biker pants because I could have bought a bike <laughs> with the cost of the biker pants. Hindsight is 2020, people. That looks cool. Hmm. Shorts are pretty dope, though. Mm, yeah, I like the. The wraps on the hands and the belts on the pants. Let's go for it. Cool. Okay, what did we say we were going to do? We were going to go get some money. Let's go back to the other station. Get paid. <laughs> McJack, <laughs> yes. <laughs> to both throwing buckets at people and sticking your hand inside an existential creature's face. 
I think that's actually on Rome's postcard. It's like both of those things. Okay, people. Like, will you talk to me? Is this just like a marrow station thing? Ah, man, it must be my game. Probably have to reset or something. Whatever. It's gonna add glitch after glitch. Got the music glitch, now we have the people one. It's fine. As long as this man pays me. Look at that! That's amazing! Oh my gosh. This is my favorite person in the game. They don't even want to talk to me. They don't give a shit. They're just like, <laughs> give me the scrap metal. It's so refreshing. Plus 10 points for capitalism. What other odds and ends can we do? You know, okay, so I said this was my favorite outfit, the Hakoan outfit. I never figured out what I was supposed to do there though. I don't even have a quest from them. That's unfinished business. Mm. I don't know. If I go to Akria, I'm going to try to find those kids. Gosh, I feel like... Huh. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be sticking around finding some kids after I just chase beetles in slow motion for like 20 minutes. Oh, do I have messages? Hello. Great. How about you, bud? You sell stuff? That's a big beetle. He's a soppy fella. Okay, can I still buy from you? What? Oh my gosh, a beetle bike. Smoke pours out of the many exhausts at the back of this booster. Best to avoid use indoors. Oh, it's so tempting. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go check out the other bikes in Akria. And if I don't vibe with those, I will be back for you. <laughs> Found the, the Roman banner that says Hydrius and Popula Mittent. <laughs> or throw beetles or throw buckets at people. <laughs> Yep. That checks out. That that checks out. I also really hope that you spent some time Googling that. <laughs> that would make me very happy. Okay. Let's go to Akria. I'm not going to find the kids. Fuck those kids. I'm going to check out the bikes. I'm only shopping. I'm not going to get sucked into that side quest. Nope. Not going to happen. I might tell the person who was worrying about lore that lore is a sellout and that my good life advice has gone to waste. It's fine. Okay. See, this thing is cool. I don't know. I could get this one. It's like the Uber Eats of Sable. That's where I put my pizzas. 
And then this one, it's kind of cute. And then I really like this one too. I don't know, there's something about annoying things on the spoiler. Oh, and that one's got a weird thing on the front. Okay. Give me your bike parts. Cool. See, I think I like this color. I wonder if I could find this anywhere. Giraffe bike front? Do I see that? Doesn't look like that. Maybe he's selling different stuff. I mean, that's weird. I like it. I don't even know what this bike would look like. I bet it looks really weird. Speedster bike. Hmm. Okay. I might need that. It's $300. What? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why is this so expensive? <laughs> Why did I? Okay. Okay. A better question is why did I spend my money so frivolously? I bought this boat and I hate it. I hate this boat so much. It's a literal boat. Can I sell you the boat? Here, let me sell my boat. Okay. Wow, it shows you how much money the merchant has. He has 2,300 cuts. <laughs> Bastard. I don't think I need 30 Nemour butterflies for any old thing. Or is that the, wait, let me clarify. I always think it's the quantity at the bottom. It's not, it's the price. Okay, I only have 13. Let us sell five. Boom. Right. Selling my soul. I only have three of those. See, I don't know what I need for like quests or randomness. Dang. Nobody's even asked me for my beetle poop yet. I'm very proud of it. Fifteen of these. Let's sell a little bit. I'm keeping five just in case. But I need that speedster bike. I need to feel the wind in my scale. Mick, you've got Roman uh, translations <laughs> in your head. I love it. What is it, Latin? 22 of these bad boys. Only 50 coins for chalk butterflies. It's hardly worth my time. Okay. Whoops. I am cleaning this guy out. 17 of these things. Latin. I never had any formal study of Latin, but it's very cool. Um, I studied Spanish. These butterflies are garbage. Okay, how much money do I have? Time for business, Afid. I've got 915 coins. Yes, yes. So the cool thing about this game is that everything I sold to this poor soul, he can sell to me. 
because he's trading. I don't know. Can I buy them back at market? I'm not even paying attention. Maybe in case I messed up, <laughs> accidentally sold something or if I need it later. But I think that's really cool. Okay, guys, let's spend all my money. <laughs> ah, here we go. I hope this bike is amazing. Ooh, that hurts. It's all my money. I really want the die too. Let's see if I could sell more stuff. <laughs> let, me, let me just look around. What, what can I pick up and sell him? Sable's good for it. Oh my god. I pass up so many animals. <laughs> and now I'm just like <laughs> trying to farm the land. How much will you buy these fruits for, sir? Latin is challenging, practice it wrong, and you end up summoning demons. That's that was my number one concern. Though, you know, as a young student, I also feel like that would be a great motivator for studying a language. More so than you might get a bad grade on your test. I did have a friend back in undergrad that studied Latin. I don't I don't think he's here. If he is here, he will certainly make himself known. You, you don't study Latin and uh, keep that close to the chest. It's important. I don't okay, I'm just gonna go on the record and say I don't think those birds are actually collectible. <laughs> All right, let's see what, what I can fetch for these pomegranates that are local to the area where this man lives. I bet you he will give me not a good price at all. Actually, I wonder if I sell to someone far away if they'll give me a better price. Interesting, interesting. I probably got rid of some good butterflies because I sold to the local. Hopefully not. Come on, Avid. You know I'm good for it. I would like to sell you. Um, whatever I just got. Ah, oh, these things. Yikes. I think that's what I got. Oh, not bad. We're pretty close, pretty close. And we're good. Wow, this guy has so much of my money. <laughs> Hope this is worth it. Not gonna lie, I want this bike too, but I do not have the capital. Don't worry, I'm not getting sucked into the side quest of finding the kids. If I happen to see where the kids are, I can't help that. Look, I found two of them. Here they are, these little bastards. Where's your friend? No, we shouldn't play something else. You should tell me where your friend is. 
So for those of you who missed the Acrea portion, um, I think it's one of the only big towns in the game that I've discovered at least. Uh, there was a power outage. There was also, I, I fixed it, of course, here of the game. Um, but there was a mystery as to who did the power outage, like who was responsible. And you had to collect clues. I found some clues. The clues were really nebulous and they pointed to different characters. And, um, <gasps> are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? The little best. I looked all over for you. I swear, I swear I looked here. Oh, Paula. <sighs> the real victory is the fun you have with your friends. No, how did you hide so well? <laughs> Holy moly. Thank goodness I get a badge for that. Wow. Wow. Wow, where was I? That was unexpected. Um, yeah, so the clues, they were very nebulous and they could really, I guess ambiguous is a better word. They were very ambiguous. They could go either way. They forced you to pick. I accused the capitalist merchant, of course, um, but then they never really resolve it. It's never shown if you were correct or incorrect, which is really, really cool. Um, yet again, Feeling like this is a little bit, it, it's got the RPG elements, but like a nice dose of realism of like, well, you may have fixed the immediate problem, but society's still fucked. Hey, bud. Hey, yay. Oops. Yep, yep. Show me the goods. Wait, where is Samud? <laughs> oh, okay. I don't. E I don't even recognize her. Wait, Samud? I would laugh if that like came to me right here. <laughs> like that was her the whole time. Cool. Customize my bike, and I don't know where she is. Uh, I guess the only thing left to do is tell um, Shar Varana that Lore will continue to do her religious bidding. Apparently. Have you guys seen a religious person? I can't remember where they are. I think they're up here somewhere. Ah, it's the doctor. There you are. Hey, 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 you've got another soul. Look, I tried to convince her not to come back. It was... Uh, I didn't want to do that. Hmm. Is that it? I guess I just completed the quest. You know, you could give me a reward. Hey, something for my trouble. Ugh, rude. Fine. I guess I don't do things just for the rewards. Man, I 
am getting so many masks today. Okay. I mean, yeah, it's pretty late. I think we should just end it on the entertainer's mask. Let's get that. Where would I go? Let's go back to... I don't think there's a guy here. Let's go back to Burnt Oak. Can get the entertainer's mask. And from there, I guess we'll, we'll call it a night, but... Man, I feel like we did a lot. I mean, I guess we did a lot of quests. Like, we got a lot of quests out of the cache. And honestly, do I know of any other badges? Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course, Beetle Badge. Great. That'll be a fun day. And the Machinist Badge. Okay. Well, that'll be the goal for next sesh, because... I think we're, I, I, would, I guess I would like to see like what the next step is, right? Because those are all the classes that I know of as far as professions go. So do I just then decide which one I want to pick? And God damn it, where's my bike? Let me, wait, hold on, pause, hard stop. Samoon. Is that? That is you! Oh my gosh, she looked so pretty! Wait, oh. It's fine, it's fine. We're fine. It's, this is. This is what I paid for. Okay, hold on. God damn it, why is my bike getting crushed by another bike? Okay, hold on, let me call her over here. That would be the introduction to my very expensive new bike, wouldn't it? Come here, girl. Come here. <laughs> Thanks. Dang, she's she's a monster. Oh my god, she goes so fast. Holy cow. Can I drag race somebody? This is incredible. Oh my god, how did I fly without this bike? Holy cow! I mean, I miss the the wings. I wish these fins extended, but I guess they can't for drag, right? Holy moly. <laughs> wow. Oh, she stops on a dime, too. You know, I'm not a car person, but I just found out that I am a desert bike person. Because this is, this is a sexy bike, I'm not going to lie. Like, I would take this to a bike show. Look at that! Did you see that? Oh, look at the fins! Oh my gosh! Can we... Okay, so next session is just going to be me riding this bike around. What? She's like an alligator. Look at her cute alligator face. Wow. Wow. I love this game. Love it. All right. Uh, let's go see the creepy guy. <sighs> Who apparently I had to throw a bucket at. Hold on, please. Thank goodness they have the one thing I can interact with in the game. Readily available here. What's up? I'm here for my mask. I said I'm here for my mask. That's right. Always next to my bucket.
I looked away for a second, and uh, I looked back, and she's she's still doing that. Huh? Yep, she's still doing that, huh? <laughs> Looked away again. Still happening. All right, all right. I'm back in it now. Cool. Guys, I think we got two masks today. Like, no joke. I'm, I'm on track. <laughs> um, the super cut of following that statement is the Benny Hill mu music playing with Beatles for 30 minutes. So yeah, I'm aware, I'm aware. Uh-huh, let's see this good old mask. What the? It's all so clear now. Okay, so I was in a Korea and there was a, what I thought was a strange tiny worm creature sticking out of the wall, but it was an entertainer's mask. This thing is weird, I'm not gonna lie. I thought I was gonna be one of those rotating masks like Lore. Ooh, I don't like this one. It's like having a little dead bug on my head. Ooh. Okay, well, I guess that is the last mask that I got. Um, so I will terrify myself when I start the game next time. Let's go by the fire over here. Oh, no, no, no. We got to end on the mic. Unless that will do some horrific glitch. Let's see. Let's just stand next to the bike. We'll be like one of those cool dudes at a bike show that's just like leaning on it casually. So, um, yeah, no, I match my bike even. That's cute. Oh, wait, hang on. Let me actually match it. Those look more turquoisey in the picture, but okay. Oh, cool, and my machine is top. Yep, yep, yep. That's the look. So, it's just my bike. It's uh, pretty fast. <laughs> yep. Next time you're being sexually harassed by someone just picture them with this mask on their face and it's fine. <laughs> Sup, ladies? All right, I'm done admiring my bike. I'm gonna call it a night. Sable, I apologize for making you into a terrible personality. Can I not interact with my bike right now? Is it punishing me? Oh, thank God. All right. I actually hate this mask more now with the persona I've given it. We're gonna change it out. Let's go, uh, let's go old school. All right, my friends, I think we're gonna call it. I'm gonna set up a raid, so stick around real quick. We're gonna raid my old D&D &D community person, former player in the game that I'm in. If I could spell her name. I'm so bad at spelling anonymous. It's one of those words that uh, gets me every time. Yeah, we are playing RPGs uh, Sundays, bi-weekly, so not this Sunday, but the one after, come back for Monster of the Week. We're super excited about that. Cool. The raid worked. Um, but yeah, thanks for, for hanging out. Um, Sable's actually not a frat boy, don't worry. Uh, neither am I, P.S. I had a good time with you guys. I hope your week is great. Thanks for hanging out. Super excited. Next week, we will uh, be back here on Thursdays to fly this amazing bike. So see you then. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. Mm -hmm.